The magnetic susceptibility of a paramagnetic substance is inversely proportional to. In first two pages itself, you will have to write your part A questions that is MCQs and fill in the blanks. Okay, that electric charges and field chapter has got the marks allotment of 10 marks. Hello everyone, I am Brinda, Faculty of Physics from Vidyashram Pre University College, Mysuru, welcoming you all to session of model question paper. Okay, so here we are dealing with the session 1 wherein I will just cover MCQs, your fill ups as well as two marker question and answers. Okay, so first of all, how exactly our board model question paper is taken out. So, this year it has been changed as MCQs and Phillips which has been added instead of one marker question and answers. Okay, so now in this case we have 15 MCQs and 5 Phillips wherein it covers 20 marks and the passing mark is 21 for 70. So now first of all we have the time allotted that is 3 hour 15 minutes of which why that extra 15 minutes is given to read the question paper properly and understand the scheme, understand the questions which is given over there. Clear? Next. And the maximum marks you are writing the theory paper is for 70 marks. The weightage of the distribution of the marks in the question paper lies like we have here weightage objectives, knowledge, understanding, application as well as skill. There is nothing that you have to break your head for this. If you just know this, it's far enough. And next we are getting on to the chapters marks allotment. So we have electric charges and fields. That electric charges and field chapter has got the marks allotment of 10 marks. And next it is electric potential and capacitance. And that second chapter has got the marks allotment 9 marks. And next is current electricity. Current electricity is the chapter which is called as a master chapter and it has got maximum number of weightage and that is 14 marks. Next, it is fourth chapter moving charges and magnetism. It has got 11 marks, magnetism and matter, 7, electromagnetic induction, also 7 and alternating current is 8, electromagnetic waves is just 3, ray optics, optical instrument is 9. To your EM waves, that is still your chapter 8, it is your first NCRT textbook part 1. Okay, so this is part 1 textbook of your physics of your second PUC contains your first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh as well as eighth chapter. So eight chapters are from the first textbook. Next we are getting on to ray optics and optical instrument which has got the marks allotment 9 and that is from the second textbook continued 10th chapter wave optics, marks allotment 9, dual nature of radiation and matter, allotment is 6, atoms 5 marks, nuclei 7 marks and remember nuclei chapter comes under 3 marker question, 3 marker questions from the nuclei chapter contains a numerical and that numerical is based on binding energy itself. So study the binding energy numericals thoroughly so that you can attempt for nuclei chapters 3 marker question. Next we are getting on to semiconductor devices and electronics which is also one of the main very much important chapter and that has got the marks which is allotted is 10 marks. Totally the question paper is set for 115 marks which means to say the question paper set for 115 marks wherein you are writing for only 70 marks and you have got the remaining 45 questions as a choice. 
So, 45 choice is there for you to fill the paper so that the paper will be very easy now, right? So, now first of all, let's go like how exactly the paper is set. You got to know the weightage. Now, it is the paper. So, it's like multiple choice question. I told you your paper is filled with part A. Part A consists of multiple choice questions and fill in the blanks which contains the total marks 15 plus 5 here it makes 20. What is the passing mark? It is just 21, right? For 70 it is 21, okay? Next, short answer questions that is two marker questions which comes under part B. Two marker questions are only five. Totally nine questions are there for MCQs and fill-ups. You don't have choice. That is how much ever they have given those many things we have to, those many questions we have to attempt. But when it comes to part B, part C, part D, those are the choice based part. Okay, choice. Choice is left to you. You can choose whichever is easy for you. Okay, so now in that you will have nine questions. Part B you have nine questions. You have to write only five. That means four questions are choice based. Okay, four questions you can just leave it like that. Write only five. Okay, and each consists of two marks. Okay, next part C. Again, fourth Roman number, short answer type itself, which contains three marker questions. So, three marker questions also, you have nine questions out of which you have to write five. So, two choices more, right? Next, fifth Roman number, which comes under part D. Part D has two Roman numbers, fifth and sixth. So, in case of fifth Roman number, long answer type of questions you have, which contains five marker questions. From that five marker questions, you have six questions, but you have to write only three questions and three will be remaining. You can choose, right? Next, last part is fourth Roman number. Under part D itself, you have numerical type problems, that is, numerical problems for that you will have again four questions out of which you have to write only two so the choice is more right so it is very easy for you to write the paper next is so total number of questions to be set in the paper so questions 48 questions will be set out of which you are writing which is over here understood so it's easy okay next Question in the first main MCQs will be knowledge based and it will never involve any solving type of questions. Understood? Next is question 2 main that is second main. It is simple and direct and it's very easy for you because the answers will be given in bracket within the bracket itself. Just see that the sentence what you make will be clear so that you will write a correct answer. Okay. So next. General instructions, the blueprint will be set for further examinations in the same way and it will be very clear, okay? So, next we are getting on to the blueprint of the physics question paper. So, coming to the blueprint, the electric charges and fields, likewise you have got your chapter names here. For those chapter name, you have the marks which is allotted, which I had already explained in the previous slide, right? And suppose the first chapter has got the marks allotted 10. How is the marks distributed? It is one marker MCQs, one question is sure from this chapter. One marker fill in, fill in the blanks is also sure from this chapter. There is no two marker question from this chapter. There is three and five marker. There is no numericals from this chapter. Understood? So, it's very easy for you to know what are the things which comes from the chapter. Don't waste your time by studying each and everything. Now, at present, more than the hard work, smart work is very much important. Okay? Now, let us just go to the scheme. Okay? Blueprint of the physics question paper. So, here we have electric charges and fields which is allotted for 10 marks. 
How is the 10 marks distributed? 1 mark MCQs, 1 mark fill in the blanks, 3 markers that is for in case of 2 marker your first chapter is not there. 3 marker we have got small answer types and then we have 5 marker long answers but there is no numericals from this. Understood? Likewise, referring for the blueprint, you will know from which you have to study 5 marker questions, from which chapter you have to study numericals. So now, from the year, the academic year beginning till now, it was the hard work what you had to do. And now onwards, you have very less time with it in your hands. That is why you will have to use your brains and do the smart work by using this blueprint. Clear? So now, five marker answer types in this slide is from, one is from the electric charges and fields, second one is from current electricity, all five marker derivations you can study from this and then it is from moving charges and magnetism in these three chapters you have got your five marker questions, okay? and. Going to the numerical problems, it is only from electrostatic potential and capacitance and current electricity from this slide and in next slide you will have it from alternating current as well as wave optics chapter numericals, understood? So study only numericals from four chapters that is electrostatic potential and capacitance, current electricity and alternating current and wave optics, these four chapters you will have to attempt for numericals, understood? And now one more numericals is there which arises in three marker questions, that is from which chapter? Nuclei and which is the numericals which arise there? That is with respect to the binding energy, understood? So that's all, so five markers you can study only from electric charges and fields, current electricity, moving charges and magnetism. And as well as your ray optics and optical instrument has got your five marker long answer types. So the thing is from the first textbook, see in there are six questions, you have to write only three questions. So in the previous slide we have one, two, three. If you're very good at following the complete derivation, writing the complete derivation and if these chapters derivations are easy for you, Okay, just think about you and not about others. If your brain has that capacity to take the complete derivation, study only from these three chapters and everything you have to be perfect in all the derivations which is present there. Okay, so it is one, two, three chapters, the complete derivation what you get. Okay, in first textbook you can opt for these three chapters, complete derivations. Okay, so coming to the next one, from here your second Part 2 of the textbook starts. In part 2, suppose if you are good at attempting for the split question if you can't write the complete derivation because split questions are very much easier to get the marks. Okay, So if you are good at split questions, you can opt for Say you have five marker questions from dual nature of matter as well as semiconductor electronics. Remember students from dual nature of matter and semiconductor electronics, both of the things you get split questions. And how is the split questions? It's given here. Five marker questions from chapter dual nature of radiations and matter and semiconductor electronics must be split questions to form either 1 plus 2 plus 2 or 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 3 type of a question understood so in semiconductor electronics all most of the time the thing comes from that is the question comes from rectifiers the concept called as rectifiers and it is very easy Okay, so now three marker questions from the chapter nuclei, I told you mainly it will be from the numericals part. That numericals will most of the time it is like binding energy is what they ask. Okay, so this is the blueprint scheme. Okay, having this you will have to use your brains and please study. Okay, ha smart work is very much necessary instead of hard work. Hope you remember this. Next. Coming to the model question paper which board had released this year according to this year changed scheme. That is, time is 3 hours 15 minutes. Why that 3 hours? 3 hours is to write. Why that 15 minutes? To read the question paper and understand the questions properly. Yes. And next, maximum marks which is allotted is 70. By now you have finished your practical so it will be 30. 
right? 30 is allotted for practicals and theory it is 70. Next, general instructions is all parts are compulsory. Remember this general instructions which will be given at the top of your question paper. Read that and then start students. So all parts are compulsory. Next is part A questions has to be answered in the first two pages of the answer booklet. Okay, part A questions, which are the part A questions, MCQs and fill in the blanks, it has to be written in the first two pages of the booklet only. Please don't write after writing everything at the end since it is just MCQs and uh, fill, up, fill in the blanks. Just to save your time, please don't do that. If you want to do that, leave first two pages and then start the rest of the things and then come to MCQs and fill in the blanks. In first two pages itself, you will have to write your part A questions that is MCQs and fill in the blanks. Okay, next. For part A questions, first written answers will be considered for awarding marks. Okay, first what you write, only that will be considered for awarding the marks. Okay, so next is answering without relevant diagram or figure or circuit. Okay, you do the complete derivation without even writing the diagram. Why is that? Because you have by hearted it. Please don't do that. If suppose write the derivation or write any concepts without the diagram, relevant diagram which is given to that, then the complete answer though it is right will be considered as zero itself. Clear? Next, direct answer to the numerical problems without any detailed solution because the formula, the calculation and the answer along with SI unit all have got certain set of marks allotted to it. If suppose there is no calculation, then no marks is allotted is what? It's been given in the instruction. Please be clear about the instruction first. Now we are going on to the question paper. So you have got part A questions and four cho choice based, right? So it is MCQs, multiple choice are there. So in multiple choice, that is four choice will be given. You will have to write any one of the answer with respect to the question which is given. Okay. Similarly, you have nearly 13, 14, 15 questions MCQs. Then it is under part A itself, second question, fill in the blanks by choosing answer given in the brackets for all the following question. In brackets itself, they have given the answers to you, wherein 5 into 1, 5 questions are there, which carries one mark and it is totally of 5. You have got the question. This is same of model paper has been given over here. Okay. Next. Part B, you have nine questions out of which you can attempt for any five of the following questions. That is five questions, each carrying two marks. So it is 10 marks. Similar way, part C, again, any five questions are given, each carrying three marks, five into three, it is 15. So you have nine questions out of which you have to write five questions, four are extras. Next, part D. Any three of the following questions you have to write out of, out of six questions. So three into five, it is 15 marks. Here there are six questions out of that any three you have to write and the other three is extra. Next, here this is a numerical. Fifth Roman number is a numerical. You have four set of questions from four different chapters. And see students, this is from electrostatic potential and capacitance. This is from current electricity. This is from your alternating current and finally you have the last from from wave optics right so each carries five marks and you have got four questions here you can write at least any two so two into five it is again ten okay and in case of part d you have see this is from electric charges and fields and you have from current electricity and you have from Moving charges and magnetism, ray optics and optical instrument, you have from dual nature of matter and you have from semiconductor electronics. I told you dual nature of matter and semiconductor electronics are the split question. See the scheme 1 plus 2 plus 2, 1 plus 2 plus 2. Hope you understood. Okay. Next let us just solve it with the answers. I'll tell you how to go on with it. Pick the 
correct option among the four given options for all the following questions and each carrying one mark there are 15 questions let's go with first one for large distances from a short dipole the electric field due to it depends on the distance from it as same thing it's from electric charges and field concepts so it is always the electrostatic force between two charges the coulomb's law what you explain that will be inversely proportional to the electrostatic force is directly proportional to product of magnitude of two charges and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them so inversely proportional to square of the distance student it has to be square of the distance so option a is the correct option so it has to be option a okay next we are going on to which one of the following is the unit of capacitance so here which one of the following is unit of capacitance is farad b is coulomb c is volt and d is tesla it has to be a farad next an example for a polar molecule is example for polar molecule have a b c and d you know that these are the non polar molecules because the points the two points it coincides okay where in case of this polar molecules water molecules it doesn't coincide okay the molecule the center of the molecule doesn't coincide that is why option D is the correct answer water H2O molecule which is an example for a polar molecule. Next the resistance of a carbon resistor is 12 into 10 to the power of 5 and 10 percent ohm that is the tolerance the color of the first band of the resistance is first will be black which has the value 0 next is brown which has the value 1. So now you have to see for the value 1 by using B.B. Roy of Great Britain had a very good vibe wearing gold silver that concept which I had done in the concept class right so it will be option C it is brown next force on a charged particles in a magnetic field is maximum when the angle between the velocity of the charge and the magnet by using Faraday's rule left hand rule right hand rule always you can see that the electric field magnetic field and the velocity all these are perpendicular to each other right so when it is perpendicular it will always come like 90 degrees so option b is the right answer next we are going on to identify the wrong statement along the following options about magnetic field lines magnetic field lines form closed loop yes tangent drawn to the magnetic field line at any point gives the magnet direction of the magnetic field at that point that is also right they intersect each other let's hold on with this outside a magnet they go from north pole to south pole yes from south to north inside the magnet and north to south outside the magnet that is the wrong statement as they intersect because magnetic field lines or electric field lines never intersect each other next the law which gives the polarity so i told you while doing the classes and all even in the semiconductor electronics when i was doing the half wave rectifier i had done in electromagnetic induction when while doing the lens law i used to tell you that there is a polarity changes in the induced emf and the polarity changes is due to again i'm repeating it's lens law itself so the law which gives the polarity of induced emf in the electromagnetic induction is not this not even ampere circuital law not even faraday's law the polarity is always given with the help of the lenses law okay next is the principle behind the working of ac generator how exactly the ac generator work alternating current generator it is so it is i is it by electromagnetic induction eddy currents hysteresis or torque on the current loop it is always with the help of a electromagnetic induction that is inducing emf you have primary coil secondary coil from one coil to the other coil there is a induced current right so that induction is nothing but due to electromagnetic induction so the principle with which the ac generator work is electromagnetic induction 
So option A is the correct one. Next we are going on to in case of alternating voltage when it is applied to a resistor. I had told you leading lagging concepts which comes in the capacitor and inductor. Okay, but in case of your resistor it is always the current and the voltage are in phase while doing the derivation when the alternating voltage is applied just to resistor what happens it will be in phase. It is all explained in your concept class. You can get back to the concept class you have if you have not heard about it and you can just study understood so option c is the right answer next question displacement current this arises due to displacement current arises due to where have we studied displacement current it is in the em waves electromagnetic waves there we have studied about the displacement current and that why is that arising that is, is it due to time varying electric flux or constant electric flux or change in magnetic flux or constant magnetic flux? Here, it is always due to the time varying electric flux. We study about the electric flux here and when the electric flux changes, there is a displacement current which arises. Next is, in case of total internal reflection. So, light must travel from rarer medium to denser medium? No. It's a wrong statement. Light must travel from denser medium to rarer medium. Yes, we have studied about it. And next, the angle of incident must be less than the critical angle. No, just get back to the total internal reflection explanation. You will clearly understand the options. The angle of refraction is zero degree when the angle of incidence is equal to critical angle. When these things arises, we have clearly studied always the light should travel from the denser to rarer because of that mirage happens, right? So it is option B is the right answer. Next, we are going on to 12th one, the phenomenon of bending of the light at the corners of the obstacles that is called as diffraction. It's very clear and it's very direct questions because refraction, polarization and interference are the different types of uh, concepts or the phenomena of light wherein clearly the definition of uh, diffraction is the phenomenon of bending of the light at the obstacles which was clearly discussed in your optics chapters okay next davison germer experiment proved what did he prove first itself it was given davison germer experiment experimental setup was drawn and it was explained that it was used to prove the wave nature of the electrons okay that is all about your this questions that is Davison Germer experiment. Read the experiment, how it was conducted and why it was conducted. It was used to check the wave nature of what? Because there we had the electrons which was bombarded to a nickel crystal and then it was deviated and it was detected, right? What was detected? Electrons. That is why electrons were studied. And what nature? It's not about light. There are two under electrons. One is wave nature and one is particle nature. In case of dual nature of matter, that is Davison Germer experiment which nature was it? It was the wave nature of the particles what we had studied and next is among the following which of the nuclei are isotopes? Isotopes I had given a shortcut top 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 means top top thing has to be changed bottom thing has to lie the same understood so it is nothing but the mass number will be the same atomic number changes you have x a and z top thing has to be changed top thing is known as mass number has to be changed wherein the bottom that is the atomic number is the same so which is state this is same so this is not the answer same not the answer different and okay this somewhere you can manage okay again this one it has changed 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 and same so it has to be option c but option c it this has to be uranium students uranium 235 and 92 uranium 238 and 92 so option c it will be but this has to be 235 uranium 92 and the option way here it is given c it is not c it is u students and u 238 and 92 so this is a uranium two isotopes are there in case of uranium one is 235 and another one is 238 okay so it's clear and next is 15th question for an and gate which set of inputs a and b give a high output y is equal to one ester we had done the semiconductor electronics chapter in that AND gate is given in this manner x, y. Let us just change the name instead of x, y we can give it as a and b and let this be y. So y is equal to in case of AND gate it is a into b. 
Okay, so now when we just check the AND gate two inputs, one output. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So it is A into B. It is 0, 0. Again, it is 0. And it is 1 into 1 is 1 itself. Okay. So this is the output of the AND gate. So when will Y be 1? When A is 1 and when B is 1. So both are 1. So you have got your answer D. It's the right answer. Okay. So here ends the MCQ part and it is very easy, right? Next is fill in the blanks choosing appropriate answers which is given in the brackets. How is it? Wavelength, zener diode, Coulomb's law, activity, temperature. It's very easy that you have to complete the sentence and fill in the blanks, okay? The force between two point charges in vacuum is called as first chapter. It is nothing but the Coulomb's law is what you have. The magnetic susceptibility of a paramagnetic sus substance is inversely proportional to. In case of your paramagnetic substance difference, ferromagnetic and diamagnetic substance difference, there exists something called as Curie's temperature. Okay, so there temperature, susceptibility is, uh, how, how is the variation of susceptibility with temperature, all those concepts is being given in the difference. Okay, in my concept class, clearly had done it, you go through it, you will get to know. Okay, so what is it? The temperature. The magnetic susceptibility of a paramagnetic substance is related with what? One Coulomb's law is over. So other than that, what is that? We have temperature. So temperature is over for here. Next, resolving power of a microscope can be increased by decreasing the dash. This was also explained in case of resolving power of the microscope and that is nothing but your wavelength. Next, SI unit of dash is becquerel, that is activity. This also was explained to you clearly. Dash are used as voltage regulators in semiconductor electronics. Zener diode is used as a voltage regulator. Okay, there ends all your five fill up the blanks. Okay, next is third Roman number, which is said to be part B, part B of the model question paper. Answer any five of the following questions. Okay, and each carries two marks. So if anything like properties is being asked or the difference are asked, write two properties or write two differences. That's enough. Okay, so now what are the factors on which the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor depends? Parallel plate capacitor, you have got the capacitors, right? So the parallel plate capacitor, what does it depends on? Area of the capacitor, distance between the parallel plates, dielectric medium which has been present between this, okay? Everything lies between this diagram itself. One is area of the plates, how exactly the area is been distributed. Area of the plates, distance between the two plates, that is this distance and the medium which is present between the two plates, that is called as dielectric medium, that's all. There you will have your two mark, okay? So one point I have uh, written extra. Next is, draw a neat label diagram of a cyclotron. I hope you have seen this diagram and this is a diagram of cyclotron, which is very easy. Okay, draw two Ds. This is called as D1 and D2. D1 and D2 are called as Ds. Okay, you will have to name it aside. Okay, and then you have to show there is a particle which takes the circular path and the dist arrow mark has to be represented from which way it's moving. It is taking this curves, right? And it is moving out of this. Okay, so the particle is moving out of this, which shows the movement of the particles. This is nothing but the charged particle. This is known as exit port and the oscillator has been connected at the bottom. So this gives you the complete two marks. Okay, and next, state and explain Gauss law and magnetism. They have asked in magnetism. It states that the Gauss law, that is the net magnetic flux through any closed surface is always zero. Very easy. Gauss law in magnetism is very easy. The flux through any closed surface is said to be nothing but zero. Okay. Next is according to Gauss theorem in magnetism, the magnetic flux. How exactly is the magnetic flux given? Magnetic flux is flux is equal to line integral of the sur surface line integral B vector into ds vector, which is nothing but zero. Okay. So next is where flux P that is phi B is the, the magnetic flux. B vector is the uniform magnetic field. ds is a small area vector of the Gaussian and surface with a unit vector n, n cap along the normal drawn to the plane of the element is what actually is being discussed over here. That's all. It's very easy and clear. Okay, next, what are eddy currents and mention it's any one of its uses. 
So eddy currents, the circulating current produced in the metal block when the change in magnetic flux is being placed. Okay, so either it will be in change in magnetic field or else it will be moved the metal block, the metal block which is being considered, it, will, it is said to be moving with a constant uniform magnetic field, understood. So they are called as the eddy currents. Uses of eddy current is electromagnetic damping. Okay, so any one of the uses because it is two markers, right? One mark for definition and one mark for uses. Next we have list any two sources of energy loss in a transformer. We have few more losses out of which they have picked only two. That is loss due to eddy currents and another one is hysteresis law. You have, you even have a copper loss or resistance loss due to the windings and all those, okay? And flux leakage also. Mention any two uses of microwaves that is used to cook, okay, that is microwave ovens as well as aircraft navigation also, it is used as what we study here. So, there are only two uses, mention any two uses of microwaves, so you can put any of the two uses there which is for two marks. So, next question is, what is meant by a wave front? 27th question and the shape of the wave front from a point source, from a point source the shape of the wave front is spherical. So here one mark you will get and next one is what is a wave front? A surface or the locus passing through a particle of the medium which are in the same phase. So throughout the surface the particles possess the same phase that is the particles which is present here it possess the same phase throughout the increasing waves understood that is known as the wave front okay next question is give the de broglie explanation of bohr's angular momentum quantization postulate in the atoms chapter the last bit which i had done in the concept class that consists of the de broglie explanation about the uh, bohr's angular momentum wherein you will have to give an orbiting electron around the nucleus of an atom is associated with the wave is known as electron wave the same diagram okay this is the same thing has been explained and these are the descriptions what you have to write you can cut short according to however you want to and then you can just take like for an electron 2 pi rn this is the circumference of the circle value which is given is equal to n lambda okay nth particle is giving that wavelength n lambda okay which has been represented here and lambda can be written as h by mv which has been written over here so n into h by mv and you can just cross it over 2 pi will come here mv will come here mv rn is equal to n of h by 2 pi and h by 2 pi is the Bohr's uh, second postulate which is given okay with that mv rn is nothing but orbital velocity l is equal to n h by 2 pi angular momentum understood so angular momentum l is equal to nh by 2 pi is the concept what you have to get by using these things that is nothing but the de Broglie explanations by using de Broglie explanations you are getting Bohr's postulate understood so that's all about your de Broglie explanation on the Bohr's postulates okay next is write any two properties of nuclear forces you can write strongest basic force in nature it is a repulsive forces it is charge dependent or you can even write it is spin dependent okay all these concepts there are too many other uh, properties of the nuclear force which was explained in the concept class as well okay so here ends like i told you nine questions from the part b that is two marker there are only nine questions out of which you have to write five so there are this is very easy likewise you will get the easy question also just don't break your head please concentrate on the things and get ready for the exam let us all meet in our next session with the question paper same model question paper pattern of three markers five markers long answer types and five markers numericals let us all meet in the next class until then have a good day thank you